All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. Uh, the name of the video is How Cars Keep You Poor. Let's check it out, guys. <laughs> Don't you just love that new car smell? It smells like power and freedom. Actually, it smells more like petroleum-based solvents evaporating off vinyl and plastic. Wow, Buzzkill. <laughs> Let's see if you still like that smell when you find <sighs> out what it's really costing you. A lot. I'm locking the windows. It's costing you a lot. Just, you know, period. Uh, it is absolutely a you know something that you spend your money on and um, it depreciates in value instantly. Never really buy a new car. If you don't, if you can avoid it, try not to buy a new car, right? Because uh, you're just throwing your money away. Or how about this? At least wait like five years or so. Uh, so always buy a car that's about five years later than the new one, guys. Um, why, you may ask? Uh, because it already kind of depreciated past its like maximum depreciation in terms of percentages yearly, right? Insurance, gas, tires, I get it, oil changes. Since the auto boom of the 1950s, cars have become an integral part of American society. Absolutely. Car companies spent $14.2 billion in advertising alone in 2014, and that number is only rising. They convince us that once we're behind the wheel, our families will love us more, our neighbors <sighs> will envy us, and our freedom to go anywhere is secure. Unfortunately, they're more likely to take away your freedom and security. New cars are a financial triple threat. We borrow money at interest to buy an asset that we have to pay to maintain, and here's the big kicker, that drastically depreciates in value. Wait, what is depreciation anyway? Bro, five years. Hey, Julia, would you like to buy some ice cream? Uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> That'll be four dollars. I wouldn't pay a nickel for that. But I just paid four dollars for it 20 minutes ago. <laughs> That's depreciation. Oh, 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 no. Go wash your hands. Cars retain their value about as well as ice cream on a hot day. A new car will depreciate 63% in the first five years. Right, and so this is where you buy that car, basically. You want to buy it around this point because it's already kind of lost whatever it's going to lose. You know what I'm saying here? And it should still be moderately low mileage, guys. Right, So that's a good actual... Uh, point here. Ten percent of that in the moment that you drive, drive it off, off the lot. Right. Calling cars a bad investment is like calling a honey badger a bad heart surgeon. What? I mean, they're not an investment at all. Oh, and listen, she exactly. just hates cars. Guys. I mean, can you think right? of anything else that you would spend that much money on that loses value that quickly? I don't know. How about a garage full of Beanie Babies? Oh, she's disrespectful, bro. <laughs> I right. told you, the 90s are coming back. No, nah, they're not, bro. Go ahead and get rid of that. Sure, hon. And don't think that you can get out of this by leasing either. Leasing companies set their prices so that you pay for the depreciation of their vehicle. And when it's over, they still have an asset that they can resell. Right, right. So let's set a few simple ground rules that will put you in the driver's seat instead of being taken for a ride. Go ahead. Number one, buy a car that's at least five years old. Right away, you're skipping the majority right. of its depreciation. Number two, save up to buy a car in cash. Paying interest on something that loses value is like gaining weight from exercise. All pain, no gain. Number three, if you can't comfortably afford to save an equal amount to your car payment, you can't afford it. So if you're not saving $300 a month, you shouldn't take on a $300 car payment. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't know what year this video was filmed in, uh, but I'm almost positive. Uh, there are no $300 car notes. Um, the average like car note, uh, you know, is like a thousand dollars right now, somewhere around there, guys, or over for you know some some vehicles, guys. So I have, guys, I I haven't seen $300 since like the 2010s, early 2010s. Right. So how much money is actually at stake? I think it's time to run the numbers. This is gonna be Let's brutal. say I buy a new car for twenty thousand dollars. I put a new car for twenty. What are you talking about? Put four thousand down, and I finance the rest over sixty months at four point two five percent. My monthly payment will be two ninety five forty two. That sounds pretty normal. Bro, these numbers don't make any sense, bro. But check this. But I guess I mean they're saying 
2017. So, what if you bought Maybe. the same car, but a five-year-old model, which costs you 63% less or 7,400? Put your same 4,000 down, and with the same loan arrangement, you're looking at a payment of just 62.78 a month. That's a monthly savings of $232.65. I could get a massage every other week with that. Isn't that a waste of money? Could, or you could take those monthly savings and right. put them into a growing asset, like a home or a mutual fund. And if you continue to do that every time you paid off the car, even at a very conservative 7% per year return, in 35 years, you'd have over... $420,000? Really? Wow. Now... Is that enough to retire on? Probably no. not, but that's just one thing you can start doing now to prepare for your future. And there are many, many more. You know, as much as I like that new car smell, I don't think I'd spend half a mil on it. Now, let's try this instead. Ooh, what's that? Early retirement. Early retirement, baby. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> and, and that's, that's our, our two cents. cents. All right, guys, really quickly. So when it comes to these type of things, um, yeah, are cars absolutely a waste of money? Y yes, I'll give you that, right? And specifically if you have, like, gigantic vehicles, um, you know, then those vehicles also are going to require a lot of, like, specialty items, right? Um, like, for example, I drive Jeeps. I, I build Jeeps. Um, but, oh, good. Well, see, I use my Jeeps, though. Like, so my Jeeps sit in America. When I'm in America, like I am right now, it's a very specific time, um, I can definitely tell you that I use my Jeeps. I go off-roading, um, a lot of trails, a lot of rock crawling. And unfortunately, uh, without those vehicles, um, obviously, I know you can probably build something that's, that's going to be a lot cheaper to maintain and things like that, right? But um, is it going to, like, fit into my hobby well? Like, I mean, I can't go get a Honda Civic for... Uh, two thousand dollars and front wheel drive and, and put it into places where i uh sometimes am right it's impossible right so you have to kind of weigh your lifestyle but also at the same time obviously it's still a waste of money it is a waste of money cars in general are wastes of money um unless it's something like collectible right uh, those can absolutely appreciate and i think honestly when I said a Honda Civic for $2,000, I don't even think that it's going to be $2,000 anymore because the price of all these used cars have all shot up, guys. Um, so, example, example, guys, one of my Jeeps, um, I, have no, I have no idea how much I bought that thing for, guys. Um, it was a very long time ago. Um, I think it was somewhere around 20, maybe 17, somewhere in there, guys. And um, now... My Jeep, even though it's 2011, what the one I'm the one I'm referring to is 2011. My I have a Jeep Wrangler, and uh, that Jeep now, if I was to sell it, it will sell for pretty much the exact price I bought it for a decade ago, guys. Right? Um, so how do you? <laughs> Say that I mean, so all of them are not definitely depreciating, not all of them, but there's a good amount of them that absolutely are. Like specifically, if they're not like purpose-built vehicles, um, or they have some type of collector value or, or value to a very specific community, right? Then they're definitely not going to be worth anything later on. Um, stay away from obviously like luxury vehicles; those are just a, a money pit of waste, right? Um, but all right, listen. Let me know in the comments on the next thing I should be checking out or subject, right? And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. And listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.